I'm, I'm Alan de Weber Olser. Um, I'm from Fort Scotch, Germany, 4th Battalion of Royal Regiment of Scotland. And can you tell me what your unit is doing out in Iraq and what the mission is? Our unit, our, our, our unit um, we are part of a mid team, a military transition team, and um, our job basically is to assist our commanding officer while he does, he works with the, with, uh, the Iraqi army. So you're working alongside the Iraqi army, yes. how are you finding that personally? Well, enjoyable to some extent. Um, I mean, when we do something, we, we live just across from them as well, and uh, if we do something, or it's anything around the mid house, uh, they, they would do the same. So if we do an area clean, they would do it. So they're imitating everything we are doing. So we've got some positive, well I would say we've got a positive, um, how can I say, relationship with them. And they're taking a lot from us. And you've been doing this for three months now? Three months, yes sir. Are you noticing a progression? I would say yes sir. I would, I would say um, when they're working with us, when we're going out on the ground with them, they seem much more confident in, in what they're doing and taking on the tasks much rather, rather than us helping. So we're just observing them while they are actually working and well, much better than it used to be when we came out here. It's your first time in Iraq. Yes, Is it what you expected? Sir, well, yes and no. Temperature-wise, I thought it was going to be hot. So everyone's always going to be extremely hot. But it took a while. I mean, I'm from South Africa as well, and um, it's hot down there as well, but there's totally a different climate up here. It's, it's a dry heat. You have to you have to get used to it. But other than that, I'm enjoying it. So. And what do you think of Basri? You get to go around the city a fair amount. Uh, what's your observations? Basra. <laughs> the city is, well, we drive through a lot of poverty and People are living in the harshest conditions imaginable, and, uh, but yet they're coping, and it's their day-to-day -day life. How they're doing it, uh, I have no idea, but that seems to be the way of life and how they're doing it. I mean, the streets are, you know, there's some areas where the, the rocky government is starting to clear up, clean up, and the streets are newly paved, or newly tarred, and um, decent areas, but the majority is still suffering, and, well, it's on a way to, and it's, it's building up, so I would say it's, it's getting better, it's getting there. Now, what's been the most difficult thing about being away for six months? Coming over here for six months, well, I would say having to live without your loved ones and knowing that you're away from the ones that you know out in a different country, different everything, different culture, different religion, um, you have to start all over basically for your six months there. You have to fit into their culture, and um, it's it's took, it's taken a while to do that. And now we're on the back end of the tour. Things seems to be running smoothly, and as I said, I'm enjoying it. So, what's the first thing you'll do when you get home? Watch your rugby games. <laughs> That's the first thing. My my family back home have recorded all the rugby games throughout the year, so. I'll have at least a weekend just relaxing and watching rugby.